Welcome to my knitting podcast. Let's get started. I am sitting all alone now. I'm nervous, nervous to the bone. The lack of Hi everyone. This is Bonnie from Knit with Bonnie. Um, and I am a left-handed knitter based in Toronto. Um, and I thought I would start doing a knitting podcast. Um, so I have been knitting for a while since I was really young. Um, but I only started sharing my knitting journey on Instagram just last year. And this winter, I decided to, or this year, I've decided to also give a knitting podcast a try. Um, I have been really enjoying watching other knitters sharing their uh, finished object, their whips, their acquisitions. And um, I thought maybe um, sharing my journey would be interesting to some of you. Um, and I really look forward to uh, making a lot of knitting friends. Um, in my real life, I don't really have any one that knit. Um, so I, I think this would be a really fun way for me to connect with the knitting community, um, make some knitting friends. Um, yeah, so welcome to my knitting podcast. Let's get started. Uh, so I'm going to start with what I'm wearing right now. So this is a uh, Drifting Waves Slipover um, that I test knitted last winter. And it is knitted in Cardiff Cashmere Classic in color 509, which is like a tan color. Um, and because it's a, it's knitted with 100% cashmere, it's really, really soft. And I, because I work from home, um, I enjoy wearing a sleeveless top with just like a shirt or a cardigan on top um, at home. So this is like a perfect, my everyday outfit. Um, and I have been wearing this a lot ever since. Um, another one is my sock that I'm wearing right now. It's really hard to show, um, but this is called Petty Harbor. Um, and I think it's a free pattern on Ravelry. And I use the Hedgehog Fiber Sock um, yarn in color Monet. And I really love this color and the yarn. Um, I am a person that wears socks at home all the time. Three finished objects to show you today. And we're going to get started with the first one. So this top is, or used to be a bodysuit. So this is a, another ripped body by another knit. And I test knitted this last winter. Um, and it used to be a long sleeve with the bodysuit um, at the bottom. But I found out that I wasn't wearing this as much as I would like. And it, it's beautiful. I love the way the ribs are structured. Uh, so I wanted to get more use out of it. So what I decided to do was make it into a short sleeve. Um, and then get rid of the bodysuit because it wasn't fitting perfectly for me um, and just make it a t-shirt. So what I've done is um, I unraveled all the bodysuit parts and just added one by one rib and same on the sleeve as well. Um, add one by one rib. Um, and I find that I wear this a lot more and I think this pattern itself, the way it's structured is beautiful. So if you are not really keen on knitting a bodysuit, I think you could do something similar and make it a top. Because I do want to make another top just structured this way using this ribbed pattern. So the way it's const uh, constructed, you knit the back 
and then you do uh, the front and then you um, put it in the round and then knit the body and the way body is structured is there are no decreases in the actual total number of the stitches but you do increases and decreases here to make this pattern and I think this the way this rib pattern is structured it makes your waist look thinner um, and I love that um, so I do want to make another one of these and for the yarn I used knitting for olive uh, merino the fingering weight in Bordeaux and because this is knitted up using I believe 2.75 millimeters it's a lot of knit but but because it's a, a rip in a round it, it was kind of a mindless knit um, and I really enjoyed knitting it so yeah I might knit up one more of this in the future okay so the next one is this Oslo hat so the Oslo hat the way it's structured is you knit up you fold it up you knit it together um, and then you do an inch and then you do a turn and then you knit up and then do the decrease and the way you're supposed to wear it is with a triple brim so it's really warm so I knitted I knitted this exact same hat in the same, exact same yarn in the color last year but I ended up gifting it to my friend uh, but I really wanted this in my life so I knitted this up in uh, Seneskarn Double Sunday in the black color which is colorway 1099 again and I'm really excited to wear this uh, in the winter a Sophie scarf by Petit Neat. So again, I knitted another Sophie scarf last winter. Um, and at that time I knitted the smaller size and I ended up gifting it that, that to my mom. Um, but I had a lot of yarn left. So the yarn I used for this is uh, the Cardiff Cashmere Classic in colorway 544 and I purchased two skein of this yarn um, and after knitting up the small size there was a lot of yarn left so I decided that I was going to see if I could squeeze out a large size out of uh, the rest of the yarn and and um, I I had I think 34 grams left of this yarn after the small size so I knit it up until I had 12 grams left in the ball, ball of the yarn and what ended up happening was after all of the decreases or increases in the pattern I wasn't at the 12 gram mark so about this much from here to one end um, this is just knit up straight without any increases or decreases. So this is uh, this this scarf is this much longer than the large, and then when it was about twelve grams, I started doing the decreases. I like the longer length because it's not so tight around my leg, and um, I was so happy that I could get two scarves out of two balls of the cashmere yarn because they're not cheap um yeah so i'm really excited to wear this um for uh the winter um you will notice that i've been making a lot of winter accessories in this right now um there's a hat and a scarf and there's a couple more winter accessories all along the way so uh, i live in toronto where it gets pretty cold during the winter and I like walking outside, I like walking on the trails but uh, I'm moving 
um, soon. And, and t to the area where I'm moving to, there's a lot more trails than where I live right now. Uh, so I assume I'm going to be more outdoors in the winter and I want to take advantage of having a lot of trails nearby uh, my new home. So I wanted to get prepared and get a lot of knitting accessories uh, knitted up along the way. And another reason for um, the smaller, a lot of smaller knitting accessory is that I recently got married. Um, and with all of the prep and things like that, I, my headspace just wasn't in um, the mood to do big clothing projects, but I wanted something that I could just knit up really quick and see results. So there are a lot of accessories that I've begun. And now that I'm married, I'm, I'm starting to do more sweaters and stuff like that but yeah so i'm rambling but that is the gist of why i have been doing a lot more um smaller projects rather than the normal big clothing items but um yeah so let's move on to my whips um so the next whip that i want to show you is my most recent project. I started it last night. So this is a storm sweater. So this is what it looks like from the back. And I have an itty bit done right now. Uh, so I'm still doing the short rows. I'm doing the first pattern and the, I'm doing the second rip section right now. Um, but when Petite knit, knit uh, released this pattern, I immediately knew that I wanted to knit this in a cream color. So, uh, this is one of my acquisitions, but I grabbed the Double Sunday by Petite Knit in the color 1012, which I believe is the cream color. Um, and I immediately cast it on. So I'm really excited for this sweater. I think this would be a perfect cozy sweater that I can wear this winter. Um, yeah, so I'm really excited for this project. Um, the next one that I'm working on right now is my terracho neck by also by petite neat and this is how far i've gotten so the back is done i'm doing the front right now i think i've done two or three decreases at the moment um and then i will do the collar because this is knitted in 4.5 millimeter needle, I find that this knits up really, really quick, which is nice. Um, I purchased the yarn for this uh, to knit up this pattern last winter, but I didn't get to do it last year. So uh, I decided to cast it on because it was just sitting in my stash. Um, so these are what I'm holding together right now. And it is uh, Knitting for Olive Heavy Merino in Marzipan. And uh, Knitting for Olive Soft Silk Mohair. Knitting for Olive Soft Silk Mohair in uh, Cloud color. And um, I, I love the fabric that it's creating. Uh, I love the color that it's creating. You'll notice that I wear a lot of uh, neutral colors in my everyday wardrobe. And, and, and I wear a lot of black and navy and darker colors in terms of winter clothing. So I think this would be perfect for 
uh, wearing inside my winter coat. And yeah, I'm really looking forward to this. So this is my second whip. Oh, and by the way, for my project bags, I use uh, bags from bags that I get when I buy like jewelry or like shoes or things like that. So you will see a lot of those. I, I don't necessarily buy project bags for the sake of the project bags. I want to, but I would currently rather spend that money on the yarns. So I just use bags. So this is from the jewelry brand Majuri. Um, I use another one that's Jimmy Choo. <laughs> um, but yeah, it works for me for now. Um, so speaking of Jimmy Choo project bag, it holds my camisole number nine. So I started this a while back and uh, this is almost done. So I've done all of the uh, ribbings or the collars and sleeves. Um, and I think I just have a couple inches at the bottom to finish before I can cast it off. And it fits me really well. So I'm really excited to have this in my wardrobe. Um, this is camisole number nine by my favorite things knitwear. Um, and for the yarn that I'm using, I've had this yarn in my stash forever. Uh, it's called Pure Organic. Um, and this is 55% organic merino and 45% organic cotton so I think this would be a perfect um, yarn combo combination to for something that I can wear inside um, yeah I have a lot more of this yarn that I bought um, so I think I if I really like the fabric that this is creating after washing I think I want to cast on a couple more like sleeveless tops in this um, yarn and use that up because it's been sitting in my stash for a while. Um, yeah, so this was my third whip. Moving on to the next one. So this is another stash buster. So currently what I'm trying to do is because I'm moving and also because I have a lot of yarn in my stash, my goal this year is to use up um, as much from my stash as possible. I think once I move, I might do like my yarn stash tour and like a knitting corner tour. Um, and I think that might be a fun video idea, uh, but we'll see. Um, but this is a yarn called Concept by Katia Sky. And this has, this is a navy yarn with um, a, like little sequin sparkles in gold here and there. And I thought this would be really pretty to knit up a hat in. So... I am laying up hat. So you can see the fabric has sequins. And I think I'm just doing a ripped hat. I cast it on, I think 120 stitches um, to fit my head. And I'm using, let's see, 3.25 needles because I think this is similar to DK weight. Um, and I like the fabric it's creating so far. So I think my goal is to use up as much of the two balls as possible and possibly or probably do another triple folded brim hat. And I think this would be a, you know, fun winter hat, but that's like a little bit more feminine than the black 
Oslo hat. So maybe I can still wear it on a winter night when I'm going out. So this is a sock called Cozy Autumn Socks. And it's a, I believe, free pattern on Ravelry. And if you look, this has a really beautiful uh, lace pattern. And uh, like something that looks like a cable, but it's done with the increases and decreases. And I, it, it, this has been blocked. And I love how this sock looks when it's put on. So the one side is done. And I started on the second one. And it's a itty tiny bit at the moment, but that is okay. So the rip, I think I did 10 rows. And then I, I've i just, no, I haven't even finished one repeat of the lace pattern. Um, but yeah, so I'm really excited for this one. The yarn that I'm using for this is the Cascade Yarns Heritage um, Sock Solid Yarn in Limestone Color. And it is 75 Superwash Merino, 25 Nylon. So it's a sock yarn and I'm really excited to finish this. I have a uh, black Prada loafer. Um, and I think wearing this sock um, with it, it'd be a really pretty idea um, this fall. So I wanna get that finished and, you know, maybe style it and uh, show you. Yeah, so that's another one. The next one, this is, it doesn't look much right now, but this is a, a leg warmer that I'm knitting up right now. It The pattern is called Lovely Ripped Leg Warmers by Pearl Soho. Um, and I there there are two sizes to this. There is one that comes up to your knee, and then that there's another one that comes up to your thigh. And I think I wanna do the thigh one. So what I find is that in the winter when I walk outside, I'm really toasty and cozy at the top because I wear sweaters, I, I wear my um, winter coats, winter puffers, uh, but a lot of times my legs are cold. Um, so I think this, and I usually wear ankle boots um, and um, I rarely wear boots that come up to my knee or higher. So I think wearing an ankle boot and then wearing this on top would be a really cute look. And I chose the darker colors because I wear a lot of blacks and jeans on the bottom. Um, and I think, but, and I think this color will go well with any of those. So um, this is another pistache buster, <laughs> which I'm very proud about. So this is uh, knitted up using the Highland Wool by Hobby, as well as Friends Kiss Silk by Hobby as well. Um, and I'm holding them together. Um, I got this from Old Warehouse last year when they were having a sale. And um, I didn't have any pattern in mind. I just knew that I was gonna use a charcoal. So I bought it and um, yeah, I think this would be a really warm uh, leg warmer uh, for the winter. So I'm excited to finish this up. The next one is another sock yarn. So I think you have, will have seen the pattern where I do a lot of solid colors or neutrals for my clothing. Um, but with the socks, I would I like to sometimes have fun. So if I get a bright colored yarn, um, that's always gonna be for socks. I don't think I will be wearing something this bright. Um, but on the socks, it's fun. Um, so this is again, one side done and blocked. So this is like a rip socks. 
this is not using any pattern, but I'm just knitting it up just like a vanilla rib sock um, that fits my leg or foot really well. Um, and then the second one, this is how far I've gotten done. Um, I'm still doing the gusset decreases at the moment. And then I'll do the foot. So this goes to show you how a blocking out a, a, a knit or a sock makes a difference. So this is what it looks like without blocking. And this is what it looks like blocking. Um, and I, I don't care if the uh, lines match up with the socks. I think it's more fun this way if they don't line up. Uh, the yarn that I'm using is the Peyton's Croy socks in color Mexicana strip stripes. Um, and I think it's really fun. I wish it had less yellow and more of these like blue uh, and green lines here. Um, and yeah, but it, it's so fun. I like it. I'm excited to wear this. Um, yeah, socks and like, um, I guess for even camisole number nine right now is my reading knit. So it's just mindless something in the round where I don't really have to look at what I'm knitting so I can, you know, get a good book on my Kobo going and then I can just knit while I'm reading. So I like that. Um, so that's that. I think I've gone through all of my whips except for one. So the last one, I haven't done the cast on yet, but I've done the yarn combo and I've done the swatch. And this is what it looks like. Isn't it just dreamy? I, I, I am thinking of knitting up the April cardigan using this yarn and I think it will look really, really nice. So the yarn I'm using is this cone from Holstgarn, um, super soft in color chiffon. And you can see that this has like a moral of like the light lime green with light blue almost. Yeah. And I'm holding it with, uh, this is in this garn tinsuk mohair in white color. And I think this white, holding it with the white makes it more dreamy and more muted, which I like. Um, so I'm really excited to wear this. Um, I, I feel like this is more of a spring color, but I, I do think that I can still, I will get a lot of wear out of this in the winter, I think. Wearing this with like a white top would be really cute. So I'm I am really excited for this. But I haven't cast it on, it on yet. So like I said, I am now trying to use up a lot of my stash. So I am currently trying to be really mindful as to what I'm spending money on the yarn for. So I only try to... Hello, honey. I only try to you can be in the camera. I only try to uh, buy a yarn when I have a pattern that I know I'm gonna knit in my mind. Um, I don't, I, I'm at a stage where I don't want to buy the yarn for the sake of the yarn because I do have a lot of yarns in my stash that I want to use up, reduce my stash, and I want to be more mindful. So, um, I, but I have a couple purchases this week, but I do not think that this is going to be the case for every time I do a knitting podcast, but, um, I bought this double Sunday by Petite Knit in color 1012, 
which I already begun knitting the storm sweater in that I showed you earlier. So this is justifiable in my opinion. I um, grabbed another sweater quantity of the Peergint in the navy color, color wave 5575. And I am going to knit up the Eva cardigan. And I'm not being original at all because I think Petite need uh, knitted up Eva cardigan in this color as well but I think because where I wear a lot of beiges the neutrals and uh, whites and stuff I think this color will go well with almost everything in my wardrobe and I I see this Eva cardigan as something that I can put on just around the home uh, to be cozy so I'm really excited to get this knit up as well. Another splurge is ta -da, this yummy cashmere yarn. Um, and this is in color, I believe, uh, let's see, 677. So it's like a lime green color. Um, and I would like to knit up a Biella sweater, B-I-E-L-L-A -L -L -A sweater by the Knit Pearl Girls. So I test knitted her Semper V-neck sweater last winter. And uh, this Biella sweater is the one that I got gifted after test knitting. Um, and I've been wanting to cast it on, but I couldn't find the perfect yarn for it for the longest time. But I decided to bite the bullet and splurge with the 100% cashmere because it is a turtleneck with a tight fitting ribbed sweater. I wanted to use a quality yarn. And I believe this yarn is something that she used uh, for her pattern as well. Um, so I wanted to get this knit up and I feel like that would be a really cozy uh, turtleneck that I can wear inside other bulky sweaters or coats in the winter and I think this color um, which is a little bit out of my comfort zone but I don't know maybe I'm having this green lime green phase because the April cardigan the chiffon color is also in this color range and this is some it isn't the color that I usually pick but I'm drawn to it right now so I grabbed that as well so I guess those are kind of my next knit um, and something that's upcoming. Um, yeah, so those are all of my acquisitions. If you stayed this far, thank you so much for um, staying till the end. Um, I, I don't know how this video is going to turn out because this is my first one. I don't know if I'm rambling too much. I don't know if I'm speaking too fast or too slow. I don't know if I included all the information that I wanted to include. Um, but yeah, you let, please let me know down in the comment if you've enjoyed this uh, episode or if you want to see some improvement or if you have any suggestions, please let me know. Um, and please just say hi. I, I would love to make more uh, knitting friends. Um, online um, and just have a group join the community so yeah and uh, please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and I'll be back with another episode next time bye